and welcome to the video. We are the Hutchinson family and for the past seven months we've been traveling full-time around Southeast Asia. Today we are here in Manila in BGC. Everybody's told us to come to BGC and check it out. We did come to Manila a few weeks ago but we left for Christmas to go to Boracay which was amazing. Go check that video out if you haven't seen it already. But now we are back in Manila, we're in BGC and we're here for the New Year celebrations. Let's see what it's got to offer. Back in Manila and if you thought our last place was nice and cosy, check out the accommodation we are in for the next four nights. As you come in, there we are. There's the kitchen straight away. We've got a fridge here, which is quite good as well. And if I turn straight to the left, this is the bathroom, which is pretty cool. And we have got a washing machine, but it's very close to the toilet. Very small and compact, but that's all right. Step through into the dining room slash the sofa room. It's quite cool, it's designed really well. So here, there is a table and chairs for eating and eating your food. And there's also another little section down here as well, which is nice and small for Bella. She's created her own little drawing station here. This is the master bedroom. <laughs> well, this is the extra mattress that goes down in the front room. This is a pull-out bed for the two girls. And this is our bed. Hello, Scarlett and this is our room it's quite nice and compact again there isn't any room for the suitcases so they are in the main room but we've tucked them to the side we also do have a balcony let's just check that out so here's the balcony there's the view from there which is fantastic you've got a swimming pool down here which isn't the main one and a play area for the children which is quite cool this accommodation is quite small and cosy, but we're only here for a couple of nights. And I'm really, really happy with this because this is the first place in the Philippines we've been under budget for our accommodation. So this is costing us 35 pounds per a night. Yes, it is small, it is cosy, but a lot of accommodations are quite hard to find in the Philippines with the two bedroom option without the price absolutely going up. So we're really, really happy with this and we're only here for a couple of nights. We've all slept quite nicely last night in here, nice and cosy. It's a little bit tricky with maneuvering stuff around and not fully unpacking, but we're only here for four nights and I cannot wait to explore Manila even more and experience New Year here. First impressions of BGC are, it is actually really quite similar to New York. You've got the high buildings and all of the roads are in straight lines and go in avenues as you count up and down. So I'm quite excited to see what else it has to offer today. One thing I've noticed straight away are the pathways, the sidewalks. They're really wide, really clean and just easy for us to get around. We've got the stroller for Bella and it's super comfortable. We're literally all walking together and there's loads of space. There's also these really nice little pocket parks dotted around. So it's just nice to walk around and feels really comfortable, certainly for families. So, so far our first impressions are really good of BGC. One thing I've realized that there's some pretty good decorations, like this Christmas tree over there. Come on, let me take a look. And it's a massive star at the top, all of the baubles, and it's so great. Also, there's some really Christmassy houses here, like there's some gingerbread houses in there, there's lights, there's some presents right here, and there's two Christmas trees just right here. And it's just loads of Christmassy houses, and it's just super cool around here. That's all for me. We've just made it to the high street here, right in the centre of BGC, and it's so, so good for walking around and shopping. It's a walking street, so there's no traffic or anything like that, just people walking around. I've seen people with dogs in prams and things like that. There's so much going on here. There's little green areas and stuff. It's just nice to walk around. You've got bars and restaurants, shops, malls on either side of this street, and it just really is. You can see it's a brand new sort of city feel to it. I don't know when this city was like developed and built, but it feels really, really new. Really really clean and yeah just great to get around so one massive thing 
I have noticed whilst being in the BGC area of Manila is how dog friendly it is. Now these dogs are walking in the malls, they've got little nappies on, they're all dressed up and then you walk past people that have got a buggy expecting to see a baby and there's two little cute dogs sticking out of them. I think also we've seen one being in a backpack as well and being carried around and I have never actually seen anywhere in England to be so dog friendly. It's absolutely crazy. They're welcome everywhere inside and people treat them like they're little babies. It's so cute. We are now in Uptown Mall and it's absolutely mad. And there's still even dogs walking about in here. I mean, just check this out. We're just in the middle of the mall and it's just really dog friendly. I can't believe there's not loads of hair everywhere. Um, but yeah, we're walking around absolutely mad that dogs are that socially acceptable here because in the UK, I think it's a completely different story. Dogs aren't allowed in certain, in very random shops they're allowed in and then other places they aren't allowed in at all. And there's a lot of discussion about dogs in the UK about whether they have to wear a muzzle, whether they're on the lead, all of this malarkey. But over here in BGC, they're just walking around just wearing their outfits. Here's no one now. Hello. <laughs> Absolutely crazy. <laughs> There are massive, massive plans for New Year's Eve. It looks absolutely incredible. There's a massive stage that's been put up and it's got a little countdown there. It says four hours, but I think it's a little bit longer than that as we're not even on New Year's Eve day yet. But it looks absolutely incredible. I think this is gonna be really heaving on New Year's Eve. But I'm hoping and planning to try and come here on New Year's Eve to experience it. And hopefully it's organized enough that we don't all get crushed and get lost. But it looks like there's a lot of organized organization and planning that has gone into this but this is fifth avenue and it looks incredible i cannot wait this whole area looks so so cool got the big stage right there in the back i think there's loads of live performances going on there and i think this is where the big countdown happens all the fireworks go off we're told that the fireworks are really really good here so i'm really looking forward to seeing that but yeah this street fifth avenue is awesome so we are at the coconut club on the high street it looks really nice here so we've chosen this spot underneath the fan so it's nice and cool and i can't wait to try a drink because they look so cool so right here i have a coconut mango shake it looks so good and right now i'm gonna try it and tell you how it tastes mm. it's it tastes so creamy and I taste a little bit of coconut as well and it's really mangoey. I taste the cream, it's really nice and I just love it and that's all for me. Bella has got a mango drink that she's very keen to try and tell you about. What, what does it taste like Bella? It tastes um, like a peanut. That was a lovely little break from walking up and down the high street. It was really nice to have a little drink together and it was really family friendly as well. It's started to get dark now and we've got a few more shops that we're wanting to check out. We might be spending a little bit of that Christmas money that the girls got. I don't know, I'm not sure, but we're going to check a little bit more up the top of the high street and then probably cool it at early night as we've got tomorrow night to get all excited for. So we've just wrapped up at Uptown Mall. I think there's like five malls in the BGC area. This one's a really good one and now we're about to get a grab back to our apartment where we're staying. Wow, the malls are absolutely crazy and they're still so, so Christmassy. We've had a really great time there. Unfortunately, we can't take the big camera in there, but we've had a little bit of a shop in there. We've got a few gifts for the girls for their Christmas money. It's been spent a little bit there, which is fantastic. But we're gonna wrap tonight up and head on home now because we know we've got a late one tomorrow night. So if you've enjoyed this video, hit the thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed, subscribe now because we've got so much more of our journey to go. I hope you enjoyed the video, guys. Bye.